Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We're right back where we left off on Boulder Beach Island. And we're taking a little tour around all the little islands out in the sea. As we look for the third and final artifact. And we're going to carry on. But if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video. So you get a notification to your device every time I upload. Big rock. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Back to the narwhal. So let's do it then. Back to the narwhal indeed. There was nothing on this island. Good so, where next? Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? That is the question. Um, so, we've been there. Flotsam Island. Do we think it's going to be on Flotsam? I'm thinking probably not. Let's go to the Rock Actually, of Gelato. Actually, the Rock of Gelato has been pretty unlucky for me. First the whole LeChuck and ship exploding thing, then Morgan cut off my hand when I went back. Mr. Winslow, <laughs> let's avoid the Rock of Gelato from now on. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Okay, um... What about Brillig Island? Let's go to Brillig Island. If nothing happens there, then we'll go back to Flotsam. Onward to Brillig Island! I just got a feeling aye, aye, that... Sir. We've already done Flotsam. I don't know if they'll send us back there just yet. They might do. But let's try Brillig first. Ah, it's me, Guybrush Prequel. Ah, ha, ha, ha. If I were a buried parrot, where would I be? They buried the parrot on the island. Excellent. Okay, um, it's not going to be in the palm tree, is it? Ooh, bendy. I never get sick of rubber trees. <laughs> Curse of Monkey Island throw back there. What's this coconut? As funny as it would be, I'd hate for someone to trip on this coconut and get hurt. I should probably get rid of it. Whoa. <laughs> you know, on second thought, maybe I'll just leave it there. I wonder if that's some sort of puzzle. Even right. as small as these islands are, I wouldn't want to just dig randomly in the hopes of finding buried treasure. I'd be island hopping for years. Wait. Ah, it's me, Garbos Freeport, Whitey Pirate. Aha! Uh -huh. There you are, little parrot. I'll have you dug up in a second. Ah, it's me, Diver Freeport. Why do you Is it moving? Creepy. It sounds like I've been buried alive. Oh, no. Again. And I think once is <laughs> enough for a lifetime. Yeah, once will do, I think. Let's dig it up. Take that, nice. pirates. Never underestimate the treasure-finding skills of Guybrush Street. Ah. It's me, Guybrush Street Boy. <laughs> oh, shut up already. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, look, a crab. What the hell? That was a bit random. Oh, a cutscene. Ah, my petite murderess. Where oh, is the no. parrot and his superbly sickly head? Right here. Oh, and what a glorious battle it was. Guybrush was amazing. You should have seen the way he... What? No, 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 no. This will not do. I need all of Monsieur Threepwood. That was not our agreement. I think you'd better give me my gold now. Oui, oui, of course. Ah, but I have discovered that Threepwood himself is very special. I need his body for my experiments. I'll pay you double to bring him back to me alive. Make it triple. I'll make it quadruple. Once I have extracted <laughs> his essence and perfected my elixir, the world will offer me all of the treasures in exchange. Now go, my boy. Go like the winds of Flotsam and bring me my perfectly profitable pirate prize. Well, I was hoping the hand might do the job, but no. Okay, um... One of nature's bludgeons. Okay, we can't do anything else with that. There's the rock. Let's just check nice this place rock. before we go. I'm gonna guess there's probably not anything else here, but you never know. Oh, we can't actually go up there. There's the rubber tree again. <laughs> I love it. Right, let's get back in the rowboat then. Um, so we've got all of the artifacts, I think. I'm sure there were only three. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? 
So I guess it's back to Spinner K. Um, the Jerkbait Islands. There we go. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes. Sir. Yeah, especially Spinner K. Oh, that was quite easy in the end. I thought we were going to have to solve a puzzle to find the, the last artifact or something, but no. The little parrot thing helped us out. Okay, here we go. Do we have to go to Elaine? What the hell? What's going on? Who's shooting? It's Miguel Akari. He's moving his sheep oh. and creating a blockade around the island. He's gonna tear this place apart if he doesn't get those summoning artifacts. I'm headed for higher ground. I'll be at the shop if you need me. All right, see you up there then. Sir, I'll take the screaming narwhal out to sea before the blockade has a chance to move in, so she's not caught in the crossfire. Good okay. idea. I'll find a way to get out to you as soon as I find. Oh. Help! Elaine, Winslow, wait! I have to get Elaine. I'll be right back. No time, sir. You'll have to find a way to slip past the blockade. I'll be oh. waiting to pick you up. Is someone there? Oh, she's like being crushed. Okay, well, let's get over there. God, this place is like really under fire. <laughs> Okay, uh, come in Elaine, just really slowly. I don't know how to run in this game. <laughs> so we're just going to stroll. Uh, right. Oh no, Sea Bunny, what happened? McGillicuddy, he caught me off guard, knocked me out and kidnapped Chieftain Beluga. I was working out a plan to rescue him, but then I got blindsided by a falling chunk of Mer statue and now I'm stuck. As you do. You. Wow, he actually managed to lift it. All right, let's sneak out to my ship and sail out of here. Right, your ship. That's perfect. I need one more ship for my plan. Oh, and we're not leaving yet. Plan? Okay, listen carefully. There's always a weak point on the blockade. We're going to use a classic two-point destruct and skewer to take advantage of it. Double jointed traction skewer. Got it. <laughs> I'm going to get my ship out of hiding and provide a distraction on the east side. Your job is to get to the school now beach and distract them on the west. How do I okay. do that? There's a cannon on the beach. Constant attach and that should keep them occupied so oh, someone yeah, else the can get through unnoticed. Who else is there? I also need you to tell the Chuck about his part. He needs Not to the the again. point in the blockade once you and I have them distracted. Then take your ship, sail out to McGillicuddy's flagship, sink it, and rescue Beluga. Actually, I think I should uh, be the one to sail out there and do the valiant sinking and rescuing of the Merkin. Or uh, Queen, whatever. Oh, sweetie, I wish you could. But the Potts has taken McGillicuddy over completely now. There's no reasoning with him anymore. But it's my ship. I said, quit your red ring. Oh. Some barnacles for Blackbeard's sake. I'm making the plans here, fancy pants. Yikes. Um. Don't look now, but I think you might be slightly infected with the pox. Unless you want to find yourself in a match instead of hook hands, I suggest you do as I say. Yes, dear. <laughs> I've got to run, love. Go and find the Chuck and tell him the plan. Why does the Chuck get to be the hero? Cannonballs you can fit in your stupid. I can hear you. Yes, dear. <laughs> What's that? Hot coals. Wow, it's hot. How did Elaine not burn herself on these? Can we pick those up with the hook? I'm guessing we've got to pick them up, right? I'm not grabbing that with my hook. It'll tarnish it. Oh, can we use this stick thing? I've got no reason to pry that. Wow, they are really putting an onslaught into this island. It only works on merfolk clamshell things. Uh, can we actually do anything with this? Can we use the bucket? Yes, we can. Makes sense. There. Now they won't singe everything in my pockets. All right, what are we going to use that for? Yep. Hot coals, Dylan. Right, hot coals. I guess if we need to um, set fire to something, we can do that. Uh, let's go up here. See if there's anything up here. Although it looks abandoned, to be fair. And then we'll go to the shop. Uh, hot tub controls. Hot tub. Can we get in it? Ooh, looks all slimy with fur people crud now. 
I think I'll stay oh. out here. How about this? I'll just turn the heat up a little. Uh oh. Typical guy brush. It didn't happen. Okay, so we got that as well. Hot tub the controls. controls didn't look like they were built for that hot tub anyway. Oh well. Can we stick something else there? It doesn't actually let us do anything. Huh. Okay, nothing else here. I wonder what that control's for. Let's go to the shop then. God, this cannon fire is really annoying. It's making it quite difficult to concentrate. Guys, can you let up for a minute? Please. Okay, let's see if um, Amenemenemenemene has any ideas. Uh, Me again. So I see. So what can I get you? Uh, wow. Okay. I think I'm good. See so there's nothing to say. Can we just use the raft then? Let's go to Spoon Isle. Yes, maybe we can. Can't do anything at the library because the person wasn't there. We've been up there. Yeah, we must have to jump on the raft. Guess we're heading out to Spoon Isle. Uh, oh, blockade, blockade, Row Island, blockade, Spoon Isle. There we go. Right, so we've got to use the cannon, haven't we? Hey, it looks like those two pirates finally got picked up. I'll miss those guys. Maybe I can send them a fruit basket for the holidays. <laughs> what? Right, so we've got to fire this cannon, but we've also got to tell LeChuck about... What was it? Tenemy's roll or something, wasn't it? Uh, oh, how do we get back to LeChuck again? Uh, I think it was this way, wasn't it? Man, I hope there's no more confusing forests for the rest of this game. I feel like we've had our fair share already. Uh, can't go that way. Can we go this way? Oh, here's that barbecue thing again. Oh, I wonder if we can use this on it. Yeah, we can. Hey, perfect fit. And they said that heating and air conditioning certificate I earned at Pirate Night School would never come in handy. <laughs> more Vacalian ruins. This looks like some kind of old furnace. Or maybe a barbecue? How do we actually use it? Oh, can we turn it on now? Mm. We can. It didn't get hotter at all. Maybe I need to get it started with a heat source first. Ah, oh, the bet it's the coals. Uh, not the paper. I bet we have to put the coals in. Nope. Oh, I've clicked on the wrong thing. Yeah, oh, nice. In there, but they really aren't hot enough to do anything. Oh, how are we gonna? Oh, obviously the controls, right? Whoa! Now that's a barbecue. Whoa! What are we gonna barbecue? Uh, can we barbecue the eggs? That's not a good way to use fish bait. What can we barbecue? We don't really have anything to barbecue, do we? Ow! Even the controls are too hot to touch now. Oh. I think it's a Vacalian barbecue. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that yet. Um, we'll come back. Let's go find LeChuck. Here he is. Give us a oh, he's fighting the pirates. Table. We saw you pry it out of that altar. You'll have to pry it from my no longer cold dead hand. <laughs> Guybrush, get out of here. These guys think I still have the artifact, and they are willing to kill to get it back. Okay, but Elaine wants me to tell you something. It'll have to wait, <laughs> Guybrush. I don't think these guys are going to let me leave without giving them the artifact first. They don't look very tough, to be honest. Can we not... Can we help you out in some way? please go away? I need to distract a blockade, and this guy needs to help. Shove off, Pipsqueak. Guess these guys really want to fight LeChuck for that artifact. Uh, okay. Almost done here? I need to tell you Elaine's plan. As long as these pirates think I have the sea turtle artifact, I'm stuck here. 
Or can we just show them the sea turtle artifact? Hey, you filthy sea scum! Look what I've got! That one ain't even real! Yeah! We saw this guy get the artifact! And we ain't leaving until we take it from him! I'll tell you what, Ready? if you act now, I'll throw in a second magical golden artifact absolutely free! <laughs> Forget it! Then I'll get roped into buying a new artifact every month! I ain't falling into that financial trap again! <laughs> right, can we just give it to LeChuck then? No how, no way am I letting LeChuck get his greasy fingers on the genuine artifact again. Okay, um... Maybe we have to go back to the beach then. I've got to figure out what to do with that as well. Dunno, let's go to the beach and fire the cannon. I don't think it's going to work though, is it? Because LeChuck's still here. Yeah, we could probably have just done return to the jungle entrance like that. Um... Let's fire it then. Take that weak point of the blockade. Oh no! Someone's shooting at me! It's coming from the beach! Yeah. Okay, that really didn't do anything. Well, the ship seems distracted while I'm shooting at them. Oh, I guess because the Chuck's not not there to do it, to do the little distraction thing. Um, okay, so what are we going to do? We've got to find something to do. Um, what was this way? Was this just where the rubble all collapsed? We fell off the cliff. Yeah. Um, let's just display that here. Golden sea turtle left quite an impression on this stone. <gasps> Thank you. I'll be here all week. I've just had an idea. I reckon we've got to use that as a mold, and then we can make a fake sea turtle. Let's see if this goes somewhere. I reckon we can use that barbecue to make a fake sea turtle. Oh, maybe if we... Yeah, I reckon... I reckon we can make some sort of molten gold or something in there. Or fake gold. And we can take it over there and mould it into the sea turtle and let them have it. Question is... I don't want to cook that. How do we do that? I don't want to cook that. Do you want to cook the hook? I don't want to cook that. Do you want to cook the fish I don't artifact? Cook that. Do you want to? Ah, uh, what if we try the pirate? Sorry, you... little guy. Good thing you're not pirate. Pirate, yeah. Ah, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Well, that's unsettling. That was oh, creepy as hell. Ouch! Hot. Right. Okay. I reckon we have to get this back quickly to that mold. Pour it in. Make a fake sea turtle and take it to the guys in the in the forest so that they stop fighting the chuck. Hopefully this is gonna work. See, when in doubt, just have a look around. Because you always find something which helps solve the puzzle. I mean if I hadn't found this mold thing, I doubt I would have figured out what to do here. Oh no! What happened? What? Oh no! We've got to keep it melted! How are we going to keep it melted? Hmm... That's annoying. How are we going to keep it melted? Okay, let's go back to the barbecue again. Oh, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Man, that was so disturbing, that. The way the voice faded. <laughs> it's like nightmare fuel. So what do we do then? 
We've got this. How do we keep it molten? Mm, no. Uh, I wanted to use it with the actual. Let's try this again. How are we going to keep it molten? Right, so it's in there. It's still... A bowl of hot melted pyrite. Which I imagine is a lot less tasty than a bowl of hot... Right, so it's still melted there. Still melted. Still melted. I did, the problem is I can't remember how to run. I did figure out how to run, but I can't remember what it was. I don't want to return to the jungle entrance. I can't remember. Oh, my pyrite hardened again. I can't move very far if I want to be able to pour it. Okay. So if we literally got to find a way of taking this then. The altar's got a couple of cracks now, but it survived the fall pretty well. Uh, I reckon we can smash it up. I've got no reason to pry that. Can we break it? I'm not grabbing that with my hook. It'll tarnish it. Uh, okay. I think it only works on merfolk clamshell thingies. How are we gonna... The bowl is full of pyrite. It's cooled down to a solid mass now. The problem is I don't know how to run. I did figure it out a couple of episodes ago, but I've forgotten. Uh, it's not that one. Oh, a circle. Right, let's try running then and see if that works. If it doesn't work, then we obviously need some sort of other item. But we'll try it anyway. We'll try melting it. And then we'll come back. And we will run. Let's try this again. And see if we can get there in time. Hopefully it's not a distance thing and it's a time thing. If it's a distance thing, then we'll have to go back to the drawing board and think again. But hopefully it won't come to that. Okay, come on. Uh, okay, Poofy apparently was online. No, it does it again here. Huh. It's something to do with entering this screen. Interesting. Okay then, I think I will leave it there. I'll have to have a little think about this between episodes. But we're on the right track. We've just got to find a way of keeping that pyrite gold stuff molten and melted. Which I'm sure we'll be able to do eventually. But yeah, that does it for this episode, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.